I'm here at Young's Lobster Pound and I'm going to head in and say hi to my friend Raymond, get some of his tips for making the best lobster bake tonight at home. Okay, before I get all your lobster cooking secrets, we have to pick out the perfect lobster. Yep, you pick out whatever you so. want, that's your job. <laughs> I, I kind of like some of these blue ones. Yeah. Like maybe those two blue ones. Well, well that's that what you're looking at? Yeah, that's a good one. All right, we'll put that one in the scales. That one there weighs almost a pound oh, and a half. Just, uh, just a pound and a half. And how about this guy? That one there's a pound guy? and a half. A little, yep. Yeah. I want you to eyeball it okay. and pick out a pound and a half. Let's see how close you can get. Uh, that's three ounces and plus two. Four ounces plus two. <laughs> Good job. It's an acquired <laughs> skill. You want another one? Yeah. One more. One more. Uh, there's a nice, nice meaty one there. Okay, we like meaty. All right. All right, got a little over six pounds. So we're okay. going to put them in our net here. Okay. And we'll get them ready to cook. Sorry, guys. There. Number 19, Nick, put those in the kettle for me. It's going to be number 19, and those are going to take about 20 minutes in that boiling water. If you, especially hard shells this time of the year, if you have a female that's not cooked enough, mm -hmm. the row inside will be black like roof and tile. Oh, wow. So you want to make sure they're cooked all the way through. You hear a lot of restaurants and chefs say, oh, we only cook it 10 minutes. Well, that's fine for a soft shell. For a hard shell, especially a female, you need to be at least cooked about 20 minutes. Get your water boiling, put them in. When it comes back to the second boil, then start gonna, the timer. Then start, to start the time. Okay. Yeah, because your boil's going to die down. This one never dies down. If it's always constantly boiling, it never, never goes down. If you can't get salt water at home, add a quarter of a cup of salt to your water at home, and that'll bring the flavor out. A quarter of a cup, like to a, a pot about that size? Uh, yeah, like a pot this size, at least a quarter of a wow. cup of that. Wow, okay. Yeah, because All right. that salt water will bring the sweetness out of the lobster. So okay. Add a quarter of a cup of salt to your water, and that... Uh, will uh, bring that sweetness out. It actually, cooking a lobster longer softens the meat. Okay. So when you first put a lobster in, say for the first 10 minutes, a hard shell and took it out, it's gonna be rubbery, tough, stringy. If you cook it 20 minutes, it keeps softening that meat up and breaking the tendons down a little. If you overcook it, once you get, say you cook that lobster, say three quarters of an hour, uh -huh. the meat will come out mushy and almost fall right okay. out of the shell. Right. So that's when you've gone, gone too far. Okay. Would you like some clams to go with your lobster? Sure. All right. And these clams only take five minutes in a heavy boil. Okay. At home, you'll need to cook them maybe 10 when they open up good. Okay. And the meat is not runny, it's quite firm. If you went pull the clam out of the shell and the clam doesn't come out with the belly with it, it's not done enough. Okay. So you'll always, it all should come out whole together. This looks amazing. There's nothing better than fresh seafood. Oh yeah, you would say we come right, right off the boats and right into the... Right into the water. Right in the water and right in the kettle and, and right here. Hey, can't beat this beautiful day on the ocean. I really appreciate all your tips and your expert advice. Thank you so much.